Hello everyone. You requested a quick view of my sewing room, so I'm just going to go quickly uh, through the room and show you. That is the door out of the room. Um, my first section is where I hang my fabrics for all of the bags that I make. I do make this design myself and send it out to get printed in different sizes. Uh, most of these are the same image. Some of them are a little bit different. Uh, and then I've got my lining fabrics here, smock, quilting stuff. I do collect old dolls. Boy George, Sonny and Cher. My boss got that for me a couple of years ago for Christmas or my birthday. I don't remember which. Uh, up top here is the first sewing machine I ever had that I actually owned myself. I used my mom's for many, many years. Uh, but I got this one. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I think my kid was just born and he's 32. So that one's pretty old. I don't use it anymore. Uh, last quilt I made on it was probably the year before COVID stuff. So 2019, 2020, maybe. I don't know. It's an old Kenmore. Works really good. Someone made these eyeballs for me and I put them in a jar. Store my batting up top. I have cabinets that just have junk in them for painting and shipping. Stuff to iron with, extra candles, same thing over here. Whoops, got a few nail supplies up there. The rest of this is just stuff for crafting. Uh, extra things, stickers, things like that. In here's just a few of my favorite things. I have a picture of one of my kids when he was inside of me. He looks like Mr. Roboto in that picture, so I kind of think it's cool. My sister made the pig for my mom's Christmas tree many, many years ago, and I kept it all these years. I have my Milky the cow that I've had since I was about eight. A squirmel back there. I've got an Ikea set up around here with all of my findings, a few tools. There's just a magnet behind here to hold scissors, just like the snips. But I've just got all of my bag making findings back here. Some screws, paint, things like that. Got my Cricut heat press. If you ever want a cool iron, this one's really nice little Panasonic. It's cordless, heats up on the tray, gets nice and screaming hot, works really good with this mat. And then I just have this uh, six drawer thing. And this just has like scraps of my materials that are on the wall here. Uh, it's got my red splat fabric that I use for linings every now and then. vinyl rolls. Uh, these rolls are the ones that I use for like work stuff, bags. Uh, I like to have reds, blacks, some whites. These are usually the only ones that I store in here. This one's very lovely. I like that one. Anyway, uh, interfacings in here. If they'll fit in here, I store them down here. Bunch of scraps down there too. Zippers and other findings, lots of ribbons. Will I ever use these? Hmm, probably not. And I've got more junk for just crafting projects down here. We've got tools down in this drawer. And then my curtain wall with my new Juki Jin uh, NA11UT. This one has its own table because it does have an oil pan under it. It's pretty cool. 
I attach this drawer to it and I only just store clips in there. Garbage sits right on the little railing there. Have a rug for comfort. And then I've got a big light up top here. Boop. And all of this is plugged into this wall here. So I turn the light off, the machine off, everything that's over here. Turn that off every night. But I've got a bunch of these needle minders to carry all of my stuff on my machines. I like these. They're really fun. This is probably going to be covered in them soon. Uh, a couple of feet that I like to store just on a magnet here. Got a scrap leader. And then I use this as a hump jumper if it needs it. Rarely needs that though. Okay, I got this recently. Um, I got this from uh, Missouri Star Quilts. And it's purple and blue on this side and then blue and purple on the other. So I thought I'd try this. I use a lot of dark fabric, so I might flip this over and try that. I did make this. It's a ruler holder. And it just stores everything. I think I need to lower it a little bit just because when I'm sitting down at this machine... I reach over it and I can barely reach that. So I'll just lower it a little bit just to make it a little bit more convenient for me. I put in some magnets just to hold tools that I like to hold here. I use these all the time, so that's why they're there uh, when I'm doing things on the cutting table. Uh, these do not have a home yet. I usually store them behind that machine. But one is my hole puncher. And one is my rivet setter. And these ones are Gold Star. They work very nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is the point is on the bottom. I'd like to see where the point is going into the fabric. So having that on the other side might help a little bit better. But once you get used to it, you can, you know, get the aim down or whatever. This was the last project that I worked on. Just a quick wallet with my logo on it. And then down below here, I have a little Ikea drawer, a little metal one. I can't remember the name of this thing. Helmer, maybe? Anyway, uh, back in the day when I had a different table, I needed to cut a hole in this dresser to fit a drawer. I'll show you the drawer later, but uh, anyway, it holds my computer cord right now out of the way so I can open all this stuff. So we just have... Anything to cut is in here. I've got tools for my machine back here and then things that I don't normally use a whole lot in this very back thing here. And then I use all of this stuff for bag making. All the different types of pens that I use. This is what I make my tags out of. It's the last of the leather for my tags. So I had to find a different thing for my tags. So, you know, that's gonna be out pretty soon tapes and labels and stickers but all of that is for bag making whoops sorry <laughs> little zipper makers all right this next one is just like little findings and stuff we've got zipper pulls. These are just the generic ones. I pull these off of zippers and I save them just in case I'm going to use them for something. These ones I order. I like the bigger hole in them so I can um, attach a little strap to a wallet or something like that. These are needles in here. And I, this is just a junk drawer. Uh, a lot of quilting stuff in here. I do make lots of quilts. Thread many, many thread cones and other things that I just need to store out of the way. Another drawer set here. And then all of this is just for personal projects. So I do have just, I don't know, random amounts of large fabrics in here. 
Down here are just some pre-cuts, some larger fabrics or quilts. Down here is just some odds and ends, fur and lace and, I don't know, just a bunch of junk. Over on this side, I do have my regular sewing machine. Uh, this one here is a Juki HGL F300, and I just use it for any basic sewing. So if I'm going to be sewing uh, clothing or just smaller quilt projects, I'll pull this one out and use it. Um, it works really good, uh, has a good feeding system on it, thread cutter, knee lifter. Uh, those were all the things that I wanted um, in a machine. So this one, uh, it was the cheapest that you could get the foot lifter on, so that's why I chose that one. Uh, it works really good. I have no problems with it at all. And then I do have shelves that were supposed to be for storage, but I have just all of my fun little... Halloweeny type stuff on them. And then our other curtain that can look out. And then as we go down, this is the machine that I make most of my quilts on. It works really good. It's just a single stitch style machine. It only does one thing but it does it really good. This one is a Brother PQ 1500 SL. Um, any type of thread that I put in here works good. I was making bags on this one for a couple of years and it did pretty good. Struggled a little bit on the real super thick seams, uh, but other than that, it worked really good. So this one is now just quilting stuff. I do have another little drawer here that has little clips in it. I don't use these ones as much as the bigger ones, but they're still there, just in case. And then this is the drawer that made that hole. And it's got everything that I need for this sewing machine. Um, if we pull it out all the way, it's got a lot of the feet that I don't use every day. And then these are the feet that I use quite a bit, the needles. For this one, um, bobbins, chopstick. Uh, and then up over here, I like to do my own nails. So I do have nail stuff in these drawers here and this. And then I do have patterns for bags and quilts and shirts and all of that stuff. And then Etsy orders and receipts from bills that I paid and stuff like that tucked away over here. And then I just have a little cute displayer up there that stores all of the things that I like. Psyduck is in there, a macaron, strawberries, certain nail polishes that I like. And then I do have these here and they're um, templates that are made out of clear plastic that help me cut out my bags and wallets. Um, I also do have cardboard that I make in just the generic sizes. One pattern has a 16 by 16, but you can't get them with uh, when you order these kits. So I just make them out of this, um, I don't know what it is, like a real thick, stiff, stiff cardboard. And then I use a small rotary cutter to cut with those. I'll show you the one I'm just gonna swing the camera back over. And it's this size here. I want to say 18 millimeter. I don't know. But anyway, those work really good once you get the hang of it. But I've chopped so many corners off of these, it's crazy. And they just go all the way down this row. I do double stack them. So two per hook. I don't have very many. Uh, and then this is my closet. I did build this myself. I don't have videos or anything on it, but I did a coffin shaped closet and then it's got red shelving, the red shelves in it. So it looks pretty cool, but it's so filled with random crafting stuff and orders and things like that, that you don't really see the red anymore. So, but anyway, it's my storage closet. Took me about a week to take the doors off of it because it had a door jam and a door in there. 
pulled that out, pulled the edges off, and then built this out. So it goes out and then it goes in so that the floor pinches in as well. Um, and then plastered over that. Got a mask. I did make this witch's hat. It's the witch's hat from Wizard of Oz. It's made out of silk. That's one of my projects that I sell on Etsy. I do have a Cricut maker. Uh, the reason that I wanted this is to make things like this. This is a giant sticker that I printed on the Cricut. Uh, and I was going to put one of these on my vehicle, but with the white backing, it wouldn't fit. So I had to try something else, and I made one similar. These on my vehicle with um, a coffin that's kind of broken apart so that you can kind of get it around the curves and stuff. But that's what I do with my Cricut. Just weird stuff like that. And I got a bunch of different colored rolls, tools, and then that thing hiding behind the sheet is a rug make a rug making frame so i did just build a frame out of like two by fours but i keep it covered because it has these super hard pokey <laughs> things so i just keep it hidden so we don't draw blood uh this next machine is the one I got this past year and I only use this one uh, just because it has embroidery in it and this one is the brother se 600 uh, this thing accepts any of your patterns I load it in here and I stick it in there and it knows what to do it's pretty easy to use I like it a lot I got another big dresser. Um, my house is very dusty, so I like to have everything in drawers or cabinets so that it doesn't get all yucky. Uh, anyway, there's just more fabrics uh, for projects that I want to do for myself. There's quilt projects. Just random stuff that I might make a quilt out of. Yarn storage. This is for backings for rugs. More fabric. More fabric. Uh, these are the vinyls that I want to make projects for myself so they're not the red or black. Well, that one is. Okay, that looks like red, doesn't it? It's supposed to be pink. That looks like pink on camera. And then this is just my random storage. Glue gun, rug making gun. The rug making gun did make this and I do sell those in my Etsy shop so that's pretty fun uh, they're a nice size and I do have this set of drawers and I just have my projects in there so I like to cut two of each project and then I'll store it in here so I've got an everyday tote here cut I've got a longer wallet in here already cut and then usually I'll have like two of these, but I already made one of these. I already made one of these, so a couple of them are empty. Um, and then I do have a couple of quilts that I'm working on here. All right, and then we're back to the start. So that is my sewing room, how I have it set up now. Uh, ever since I got this big honking thing, I wasn't sure what to do until I made this table. I have a tabletop attached to this that fills in the rest of this space under this cutting thing, the cutting mat, uh, so that I could extend it and have more room. So it worked out really good. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you later.